hello youtube and welcome back to your tutorials in this tutorials we are going to be talking about looping statements so what are looping statements looping statements are just those statements that are used to iterate that means that are used to repeat a particular line of code over and over again until a condition is met so that is just the simplest way of what defining a looping statement so we have different types of looping statement the first one is for to next loops loops then the second one is a do while loop and then the third one is a why when so these are just their syntax how you can apply them so the first one here this is the syntax so what we have here is what the keyword for then the a variable name an initial value then to then the final value and your increment so after you've gotten this then you put a line of code that or a line of statement that is going to be executed then you do your next and the variable name again so for the do while loop you can use a do while or do until then you put your condition that is that is going to be met then the state statements and loop or this is another way of what applying the do while loop we also have the last one here which is called why when loop and the syntax is while condition statement and then when so with this i want us to switch back to our software and learn how to apply each of these loop i've already pasted some codes here because I, want, I don't want you to watch me typing very slow so what I did actually was to as we all know start my program with what CLS then I initialize a variable called what index uh, the reason for this is what is an integer variable so I assign the value 0 to it now the main reason for this program is to print computing is reformed Price. I want to print it three times. Now, am I going to print? Am I going to type print computing is refund? Computing is refund. Computing is refund. Price. What if I want to print it up to hundred? How am I going to achieve it? Am I going to fill the whole of these pages or the whole of this uh, software with printing is print computing is reform? Blah 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 no so that is the reason for the introduction of what looping statement so that with just a print statement i can look through this up to 100 times so what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to take you guys through the for loop the while loop and the do while loop at a time so this is what our for loop here we have the first one for loop like i said earlier we have the keyword for then a variable so you just type in any variable name of your choice then assign an initial value initial value can be anything can be two can be three can be four but i love initializing it to one then to what three so the final value is going to be three because the computing is what three one two three so the final value is going to be three then the increment is what step one so i want you to go one after the other after printing the first one goes to the second one then to the third one so if i wanted to skip or if i wanted to jump then i can use two here so after that it's going to print then it's going to next so this is how the program is going to execute it when it prints this space here then it's going to come to this list and said for x so then x will be assigned the value of what one so x now will become one then to three to check is x is one up to three no then it will print this one then with this next now it will next again that means it will loop again then to check is at the time it loops again x becomes two then it will check is two up to what three no it will print this thing again then next again till it gets to 3 
then it will now end the next and move to the next line which is what this one here to print the space then for the do while loop remember i initialized a value here called what index then assign a value of what zero to it so what is going to happen is it will come here and said do y index is zero at the first time it will print computing is real phone then this short code here is just is called increment now what this one here mean this step one is also what increment so for do while loop this is how you do what you increment by one so you said index is equals to index plus one if you do index is equals to index plus two that means you are in incrementing by two so when it gets to this place if you print the first time then index will become one then one is not is less than three so it will come here again and print the second one then it will increment again then one the index will become two two is still less than three so it will print this one the third time then the index will now become three and three is not less than three so it will end the loop to come here then end the loop then move to the next thing and the next thing is to print this space then it will print uh it will come to this one so this one is still the same thing i initialized a value called what count then pass in the value of one then when it prints when it gets here the count becomes one and one is not less than one is less than two so it will still print this one then it will loop like that to it gets to this value then it will what stop so let's run this program and see how it goes start run so we have what programming is fun programming is fun to this so this one now is this one here is the one I typed manually the one I said print programming is fun print programming is fun twice thrice rather then this one is for the for loop the use of what for loop then this one is the use of what do while loop then this one is the use of while when loop so you see that we still achieve the same thing in different ways so i want you to learn more about uh, loops look for more ways you can apply loops and if you have any question drop it on my comment box see you later and don't forget to subscribe